Good morning, everyone. Dr. Kristen here at Van Every Family Chiropractic Center. This morning, I'm going to talk to you all about sunburns. It's a perfect time. We just got through a crazy heat wave here in Michigan. And um, what I would really love to talk about is how to heal a sunburn, because sometimes they're unavoidable. I am very fortunate that I have a mom who is half Lebanese, so I don't burn very easily, but every so often it does happen, especially because I like to avoid sunscreen, and there are plenty of you out there who don't really want to put sunscreen on your body just because of all the other chemicals in it. So uh, first, let me talk about what is exactly happening when you get a sunburn. So it's important for everyone to remember that your skin is actually an organ. It's the largest organ in your body, so a sunburn you shouldn't really, you know, flip it off as no big deal just to sunburn because you are damaging one of your organs that covers your entire body. And when you do get a sunburn, it's, it's UV light actually damaging the DNA of your skin. And your skin is very important. So when you do get a sunburn, I want to make sure that you know how to heal it as quick as possible. And first and foremost, when it comes to healing a sunburn, like I said, go ahead and remember that your skin is an organ. So overall body health is important when you're trying to heal it. So that means eating healthy. When you have a sunburn, doing anything to increase inflammation in the body is going to make the sunburn worse. So uh, if you get a sunburn and then you spend your next day still out at the pool or out at the lake drinking a ton of alcohol and eating a bunch of junk food, that's going to make your sunburn a lot worse because all you're doing is increasing the inflammation in your body. So when you're in a lot of pain, try and eat as healthy as you can, anti-inflammatory diet. You can take some natural anti-inflammatories. I just got burnt recently and I take my natural anti-inflammatory, which is curcumin and ginger and paswellia. And it's also important to stay hydrated. So drink plenty of water throughout the whole process because it's, your skin is dehydrated. You need to make sure you keep giving it as much water as you need to help heal. You can also do things like drinking kombucha or other things that help with tea that help with hydration as well. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to aloe, I highly recommend trying to get the aloe plant because that is all natural. You're putting the aloe directly on your body. You're getting all of its healing benefits without any of the chemicals and preservatives that are typically in the aloe gel that you buy at the store. You can find great aloe. You just have to be a little bit picky about which ones you're going to buy. Uh, some other things that tend to help people heal quicker are certain essential oils. So for me personally, when I get a burn, I put lavender oil on my skin and I also put vitamin E oil. So vitamin E and lavender both have healing properties, so it helps heal the burn quicker. And something else you can do to get vitamin E, which I have done in the past also, is to use raw shea butter. So that's very important too. I don't want you to just use shea butter lotion because again, that's gonna have a bunch of junk in it. So if you use raw shea butter, you're getting all of those healing properties that that offers before it gets turned into a nice easy lotion to put on the body. Uh, so once again, eat very healthy, drink lots of water, lavender oil, vitamin E, raw shea butter, the aloe plant. And one thing to point out also is that first 24 hours after a burn, you don't want to actually trap that heat in your skin. So don't put coconut oil on your body right after you burn. A lot of people use coconut oil to help their burn heal, but that first 24 hours, keep it off your skin because any oil-based product that's going to keep the heat trapped under your skin is not good for you. So I hope this was a little helpful tidbit. I will write in the comment section uh, all the things that I just said so that you've got it nice and easy to look at to next time you need to remember how to heal your burn. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. It's like it's getting a little warmer out there in Michigan again. So uh, stay healthy and get a little bit of sunlight, not too much.